Good day, everybody. Today we're going to do grade eight, lesson one, term two. Um, the topic is algebraic equations and vocabulary. Um, after the lesson, you can also go to your DBE workbook and do wor worksheet number 29A. Um, this first part is the link then to the CAPS curriculum. Then what we have is a dictionary. Um, what we have here is a lot of the words that you need to know, and we wrote it uh, around an equation. Um, these are very important words that you need to know, and we also provided you with some examples. Then um, here, I just quickly going to remove the answers. So at this point, I want you to pause, um, and then I want you to do these mentally. You can give the answers orally, or um, you can write the answers down. So it's time to pause now and to do these 10 questions mentally. Okay, welcome back. Um, let's quickly look at the answers. Um, you can quickly check it, pause it again, and mark your work. Then I'm going to start with the introduction. Now, um, algebraic equations of vocabulary. Um, I just quickly want to read here. We're going to revise algebraic equations, algebraic vocabulary done in the first term. Algebra may seem abstract with equations consisting of a string of symbols and letters. It has many applications in everyday life. That is the most important part, that it's got applications in everyday life. For example, an equation can be used to determine the area of something such as a soccer field. A soccer field is a rectangle. The area of any rectangle is found by using the equation. Area is length times breadth. Now here we already got an equation A equals L times B. So the variables here are L and B. A variable is an unknown number or quantity presented by a letter. In this lesson, we're going to learn and revise more about algebraic vocabulary. So I want you to go and look at example one, pause. This was also in your definition. And then look at each of these words and explain why it links to that variable, number, um, symbol in this equation. Okay, it's time to pause. Welcome back. So we're going to look at example two. So we're going to write the examples of expressions down, and then we're going to identify the number of terms. So the terms are then divided by a symbol. So here we have two terms and it's divided by the plus symbol. Here we only have one term because it's only got a number and it's got a variable. So the next example, we have three terms because we got a plus there and a minus. So we got a one term, two terms, three terms. And the last one we have is then it's divided into four terms. So um, if this is schoolwork, your homework will be then this in purple and the rest will be done in your writing books. So we first going to start with a, a crossword puzzle. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to complete the crossword puzzle by answering the questions and fill it in on your crossword. Then um, you're going to do then um, question number two and question number three. That's based on the examples we gave to you before, example one and example two. You can always go back on the video, pause there, look at example one and two and do these. Then the problem solving Please don't skip it. Um, and sometimes it's not only solving a problem, but it's also to become creative in mathematics. Um, we always provide you some with some extra examples um, for, your, for, for those that tries to go beyond what's required in this lesson. Then the, le the, the consolidation is very important. You need to ask the questions to yourself and when you clicked yes, um, if you click yes on all of them, you're ready to carry on with the next lesson. If not, if you clicked it no, please go and revise some of the questions again or contact us at SA Teacher. 